Good morning. Today is Friday and it's the last day of our remote learning and the last day of your project-based learning activity that you're doing this week. Um, today you're going to get to get a little artistic. You are going to be able to design an advertisement for your toy store. And this is just completely up to your creativity and imagination. What you do want to do though, is make sure that the toys that you are selling in your toy store are represented. So as you can see, I've started my advertisement. I have the name of my store, that's important because think about the um, all the advertisements that you get in the mail at home. You always know what store it's from, you know if it's a sale, and you know the dates. So I put the Playhouse Annual Holiday Sale November 10th. And I drew a little Christmas tree down here because it's a holiday sale. And then I've started adding some of my toys. Now this is where you have to be careful because in an advertisement, you always have the sale price of your item. So for this, I went back to my profit sheet because I want to make the price of my toy more than my profit. Otherwise, I'm not really making profit. So when I went to set the price for my doll, I went over to my profit sheet and there's my doll. My doll, I'm making $6 from every doll that I sell, I'm going to make $6. So I have to set a price that's gonna allow me to make that $6 above what I paid for it. So I thought, hmm, how much would be a good price to pay for a doll? Well, I'm gonna say $10. So if I sold that doll for $10 and I'm making $6 profit for me, then that means that I have paid the manufacturing company $4 for that doll. So I think $10 is a good fair price for the doll. So that's the price I'm going to set for that. For my star bouncy ball, I set my price at $6. So I'm going to look and see, All right, I'm making $2 profit off of every ball. So I'm gonna set the price for $6. And I'm gonna make, every time I sell a ball, customer's gonna pay $6. $2 per ball is coming to me. And that means that $4 goes to the manufacturer. So I think those are, are fair prices. Haven't set the price for my drum yet, but I will. So this is yours. Just have fun with it, be creative. Think about what would a sales paper or an advertisement for a toy store that caught your eye and made you want to buy a toy, what might that look like? What kind of prices do you think are fair? Remember your price that you set needs to be more than your profit, but you don't want it to be so high that nobody's gonna come shop at your store. So that's the first part, that's the fun part. The second part of today's activity on the back of your advertisement You've got to come up with three word problems based on the toys that you are selling in your store. Of course, my toys are the giraffe, the star bouncy ball, the doll, the RC car, the light up toy plane, the play drum, the horse, and the dump truck. Now I wanna write three good word problems using my toys. So let's see, hmm. I'm going to write a problem about the dump truck and the plane. So let's say Joe wants to buy a dump truck. Four, and I've got to set a price. $12, let's say $12. That way I'm clearing my profit. And a toy plane. For $7. How much will 
it cost to buy both toys? Hmm. I think I'm going to add another question. If Joe pays If Joe pays with $20, how much change will he get back? All right, that's my first word problem. Now I've got to come up with two more. I could do something as simple as saying, um, the Playhouse Toy Store is selling dolls for $10. If Sally wants to buy six dolls, how much money will she need? So I want you to come up with three good word problems based off of the toys that you are going to sell in your toy store. Make sure your spelling is the best that you can do. Make sure your sentences are complete. And remember, questions always end with question marks. Sentences always start with a capital letter and end with some form of punctuation. Um, but just have fun with it. Be creative today. Enjoy making your advertisement. Do be aware of those prices and your profit margins. And come up with three good word problems for me, okay? And that'll be, that's, this is the last activity on our PBL. So make sure you gather all of the things for this PBL together. And you will be turning those into me on Monday for a major grade. So just make sure you've kept up with everything. Um, I would just go ahead and stick it back in that envelope that we sent home. And that's a good safe place to keep it to make sure you're not losing any of your parts. And I will see you guys on WebEx in just a few minutes. Bye.